everyone, this is Kate Schwenke and I'm going to be doing a requested video for you guys today. This is a video for how I pack my GGB BFF in the Commodore print with a First Mate fuel cell inside. So, um, I posted a picture a few days ago and my family and I were headed to the zoo and I showed that I had my fuel cell inside my BFF and a few people showed interest in me doing a packing video for it, so that's what this is for. Um, so, yes, I have it packed up for the zoo for this video. Um, and I just want to show you guys, first of all, some of the things on the outside of the bag, um, how I have it packed, and then I'm going to move on to the inside for how I have it packed. So, the very first thing I'm going to go over is my passy pod. I have this in the Admiral print. I have one passy inside with a passy clip. Underneath that, in the side bottle pocket here, I have a hand sanitizer spray by the Honest Company. I also have a sunscreen for the kids in, by the Honest Company. Love their stuff. Right behind all that, I have a GGB small set piece in Navy Berry. And in here, I like to keep my stroller clips handy. And these are made by Mimi Make Stuff. She's a really great friend. She does some great work. I love these. And I actually had my bag on the stroller the whole time that we were at the zoo, and it worked out amazing. So um, a lot of things that I would normally pack in my bag ended up, like if I was going to the zoo, ended up in the stroller organizer on the, on the uh, stroller. But everything else stayed in here. So um, I guess we'll do this side next too. On this side I have one straw cup. This is for my one-year-old. And I just like to pour um, some ready-made milk thing kind of thing in there. That's all I had in the side pockets. On the very front pocket here, I have my keys on the key fob. In this sunglass holder here, I have some Mentos gum. I also have a lip gloss in there. In the very front pocket here, I have my iPhone 6. And in the main bottom part here, I have my Kate Spade wallet. And there's nothing else that I put in these other pockets. I just don't really seem to carry all that much anymore for myself. So in this zipper pocket up here, I just have a pack of tissues. Now onto the inside. Also, I don't have anything in the very back of the bag. Um, I just find that I don't end up using that for anything, unless it's like paperwork or something most of the time. So. Um, this is how I have it set up. As you can see, the fuel cell fits beautifully in there with a little bit of room to spare on top. And I was able to stack up things next to it and even fill up the sides a little bit and put things behind it as well. So, in the very front here, I have a small set piece. And this is a custom set uh, piece. It goes with my medium set here. And this is made by CJ Pipsqueak. I have some eye drops in there an EOS stick, a couple of panty liners, and a little folding brush with a mirror. On the other side here, I had a lilac lace coin purse, and in here I just like to keep insurance cards and punch cards and things like that in there. I don't have anything in this front zipper here, if you can see that. I was thinking about putting a wet bag in there, but I didn't end up needing it anyway, so um, it worked out for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go through these two bags first, and then I'm going to move into the fuel cell. So in this one, normally, if you've seen, seen my videos before, I like to put extra changes of clothes into a small or a medium set piece. So I have a little pair of socks for my one-year-old a spare short uh, shirt, <laughs> a little pair of shorts, and a little pair of socks for my four-year-old. Right next to that, and I had those standing vertically, by the way. In this pouch, this is a custom small set piece made by Baby Notions on Etsy. In here, I just have a couple of charging cords. I have my iPhone 6's charger, and also the charging cord that goes with this. This is a little on-the-go charging block for your phone, um, and I really love it. It works great. It really charges your phone up quickly if you are running low on power. So that is a must-have in my bags now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the fuel cell next. 
move the bag out of the way for just a minute. I have a lot of stuff in here. All right, I just wanted to raise the camera up a little bit so you guys could see the inside of the fuel cell a little bit better. So this is how I have it packed for a day at the zoo. Not really a day, more like a few hours. <laughs> it got so hot outside, uh, we had to head home a little early, but I have a little Inno Baby snack tower and I have some Annie's Cheddar Bunnies down there and I also have some organic puffs for my one year old, he loves those. And I have a little pack of Teensy Fruits for him too. He loves snacks, like all the time. And he's got some of these organic bunny fruit snacks by Annie's as well. And then I have my Bee Neat in here. I also have two larger bottles of water. Um, I decided when we were there that my son could just have one of these or we could share and then my husband could have one all to himself. So it worked out. But I love that you can put, you could probably put about six bottles of water in there if you wanted to and they fit really great. So on the side here, I have a meal for my one year old if he got really hungry. And I also had some of the uh, raspberry yogurt. He loves that one. I also have a ready-made milk like I was showing you guys earlier for the cup that I had. This is, I'll just pour that in there when we're out and that works great for him. And this is for my four-year-old. And then I have a few snacks down there. This is for my four-year-old. It's just a yummy granola bar. I love those. And then I have a little um, Ella's Nibbly Fingers and then some sun-made raisins for my four-year-old. This one's for my one-year-old. So it's just a lot of snacks and just some drinks and things. Um, all that stuff fit in the fuel cell, no problem. And as you saw in the video earlier, this fuel cell fits great in the BFF. And now I'm gonna bring the BFF back out and kind of fix the camera for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so I wanted to zoom in a little bit more too. So um, the way I have the backs um, here, I didn't have anything on this side, so it made just a little bit extra room for me to push the fuel cell all the way to the sides. So let me show you. I had it pushed as far to the left as possible in there. Um, because I didn't put anything in there, it made that possible. So I did put something on this side. On this side I have three size three diapers. I didn't end up using any of them while we were out because he stayed pretty dry the whole time. But those were just in case of an emergency or something. Also down there I have some little Munchkin um, trash disposal bags for just in case. So all that was on that side there. Back here, I have a custom-made booty pod cover by Baby Notions. It's beautiful, it matches my Commodore BFF. And then I also have a light change pad back there, and that was in the same pocket. In this zipper back here, I have a pack of wipes. These are the Johnson's Hands and Face Wipes. And these are really helpful when you're at the zoo with all those germs and dirt and <laughs> all that stuff. So that's all I had on this side. Um, the last thing I have to go through is this. This is one of those little packing cubes by Travel On um, that I just did a review on the other day. I love this as a first aid kit. It is amazing. Um, I love that you can see exactly what is in there. So I don't even have to open it. Um, <laughs> I have a little thermometer here. I have some antibacterial ointment. And I have some Tylenol pouches, a little pair of clippers. And in the very back pocket back there, I have all of my Band-Aids, stickers, gauze, all that stuff, just in case there's an accident. And he tripped three times while we were there. And I was so happy that he didn't actually hurt himself. But this would have come in handy for that. So anyways, that is all I had in my bag for a trip to the zoo, and it actually worked awesome. I don't even think I had to really access my bag too much. I got him a couple snacks a few times. I also got the waters out. Um, I didn't have to change him, so I, I, don't, I don't even think I needed the passy. <laughs> the, when you're at the zoo and places like that, sometimes you don't need to use a lot because the baby or your kids are so engrossed in what's going on, so... Um, but I like to be prepared and just have things anyways, <laughs> so just in case we wanted to go somewhere afterwards. But um, anyways, I hope this was helpful for you if you're wanting to pack a fuel cell in your BFF, and thanks for watching!